Hi Excellers, welcome to another How to Excel at Excel video. Today we're going to look at how to handle the NA error when your VLOOKUP finds no match. Hi, today we're going to look at using the VLOOKUP formula and how to replace the NA error when Excel can't find the value to match. And we're going to replace that with value not found, can't find value, you can replace it with anything you like. So first of all, let's set up the VLOOKUP formula. So you can either type it directly in, or you can use the insert function. Open parentheses. So we're going to use VLOOKUP. And the lookup value is going to be the IB123. The table array is we're going to look up this and I'm going to make that an absolute formula because we want to drag the formula down to our other cells. Now we want it to return the quantity which is the third column and we actually want an exact match so we enter false close parentheses. So there we have AIB123 quantity 350 so let's just drag that down. So Excel has told us through the VLOOKUP formula that AIB135 and 136 do not exist in our list, which is true. Now, you could leave it like that to indicate the value is not found. But if you want it to be a bit more user friendly, what we can do is we can just instruct Excel to insert another value if it comes across if it can't find a match. So all we need to do is just use the if error formula. So before the VLOOKUP, if we type if error, so what we're going to instruct Excel to do is, what we're going to instruct Excel to do is give us the value of this, but if there is an error, replace the error with, let's say, So we're going to instruct Excel to give us the value of from our lookup table if indeed there is a match of the product ref. But if there's a not, if there's not a match, that's it, comma, this is where we put the value if there's an error. And let's put no match. Let's put no match, and these have to be in. We're entering text, so it has to be in, so it has to be in quotation marks return and you'll see that AIB123 VLOOKUP has a match. It's still put the quantity in there. It's behaved exactly the same because it is a match. We drag that formula down and let's have a look at what happens when we go to AIB135 and 136. There we go. Instead of giving us the error, Excel has said, I don't have a match and it will put exactly what you ask it to do if there is an error or if there's no match. So what we've done is we've combined the error, if error, and the fee lookup, and you can replace this with you can replace this with anything you want. So you can put no value. Let's drag that down. There we go. Change it to no value. Okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click to subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll see you again for another how to excel at Excel video.